Hey guys, this is Polo290. I'm going to be here teaching you how to change the themes on your Wii for the 4.3 uh, system version. Uh, this is for the USA console, not the European console. The console is different for the fact that I need a certain APP file. I made this video because a lot of people have videos up, but they're not teaching you how to do this. They're just showing you basically their GUI, which is frustrating to everybody. Uh, so this is going to help you how to change the themes. Before I even go into this, please make sure you have preloader on your Wii or that you have boot me, uh, download as boot, boot me 2. Um, I am not responsible if you break your Wii. Okay, I don't want to hear no bull crap about, uh, you know, your Wii got bricked. Take these, you know, it's a, it's a risk. It's a pretty cool risk, I'm not going to lie, once you get all these, you know, cool interfaces. But uh, be smart, okay? Next thing. Before you start whining and asking, please put the descriptions in the link. They're already going to be in the link. So please pull your panties up. Do not worry about it. Uh, I'm going to have everything labeled there for you. Okay. That being said, what you're going to do first is download my menu file. Okay. This is going to go on the SD card. Uh, basically, it tells you everything right here that I have highlighted. Uh, it tells you what to do, what it's about, if you want to get into it. Uh, download it. Bam, that's the first thing done. Next thing you need to get is the NUS download, okay? Uh, for this whole pro process, you are going to need Internet Access, of course. Um, so basically, download this, and uh, I'll get into this in a second. Um, then, make sure you download uh, my menu. Okay, I did not upload this file to Medium Man, so please do not give me the credit somebody else did. I don't know who the hell that person is, but whoever they are, thank you. Um, I know you can find us anywhere. But uh, basically, this one has helped me a lot. Um, so basically, you're just going to, you know, download this to your computer. The, this and this go to your computer. My menu file goes to the SD card. There's also something called SoftMe, but I do not use that. I know some things work with my menu file and some work with SoftMe, so you might want to look into that as well. Okay. First thing you want to do now is turn on NUS download. Okay, so I am basically going to do here. I have everything in my uh, Wii folder. Okay, uh, none. Okay, when you turn on us, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, basically, this is going to give you your system menu APP. This is very important. Every APP is different. If you have the wrong APP, I kid you not, you will brick your Wii. All right, make sure you do some research. I know that for the 4.3, you it's basically uh, 6097.app, which I'm going to show you. When you get NUS Downloader, please make sure you click on the database tab and you click Update Database. This will bring all the files onto your computer, so everything that downloads will go to your computer. Make sure you click that. All right. Um, after that's done, and it'll tell you when the update is done and everything, uh, go to your, uh, go here to where it says create decrypted contents, which is the APPs. Make sure that is clicked. That is extremely important. Click it. Uh, now you're going to go to your scripts tab. In the scripts, in the scripts tab, you're going to then click where it says scripts database, all system menus. You're going to click that. It's going to start to download. Everything's going to start downloading. And uh, basically, um, just let it go through, let it download, let it go through, let it download. It takes a while, depending on your internet connection, and uh, it'll basically come out when you're finished. It saves automatically to wherever you downloaded NUS to, whether it's your desktop or a certain folder. I downloaded onto a certain folder. So uh, basically, you know, you can exit out of it once it's finished, and you go to your scripts folder, let's say already make, and it says all the menus output, and you go, just keep clicking now. The 00097 is, and it was in my 513 folder. So what you want to do is now scroll down, boom. That's what I need. It's right there. Okay. So after you do that and everything's done, uh, basically what you're going to want to do is also you, when you get a theme, try to get a MYM file theme. Okay. When you're doing this, basically, you need, you're going to be using my menu. Okay. Let me open this up. 
after you download that, it should be downloaded. Boom, it save it to create a desktop right here on your create an icon on your desktop, and uh, this is what happens when you open it up. Um, search for MIM files. Uh, I've searched for CSM files and have put them on this Wii, and that's when you click on the settings tab, and the settings doesn't work because uh, the system menu app is for another Wii. It's not for your Wii. That's why the settings, when you click on the settings part, it freezes up, okay? This stops that problem, okay? Because it basically takes the file and embeds that, embeds your system menu's uh, app file in it, so it works with your whole entire, you know, your Wii system console, okay? Uh, so basically, just make sure you click on... Uh, just make sure you try to find one. Are uh, you gonna Google them? Just Google MIM files. You know, I'll give you a couple of uh, sites. I'll give you two sites to go to for these MIM files. Uh, so basically, you, you know, you can download it, and you know, they got some pretty cool, you know, GUIs up. So it's pretty alright. Uh, basically, everybody's telling you, you know, be careful. They don't break your Wii. Blah blah blah. Okay, so you're gonna click the first one. It says your source tab. This is where you're going to put the APP file that you downloaded for your Wii. For mine, which is the 4.3 U USA version console, uh, and 4.3 system menu, I'm going to get the 6097.app. So I'm going to do is go to my desktop, go to my Wii folder, uh, click on the folder thing is, nice. uh, click on scripts. I'm going to use remember I showed you this earlier. Uh, I'm going to scroll all the way down to 513. These folders are made automatically. Do not make folders. The NUS makes the folders automatically for you. So you don't got to worry about anything. Just sit back and relax and go download everything you need to download. Okay, then I'm going to take uh, a 00, this is what I was telling you, the 6 zeros and a 97 uh, dot app. So that's the version. That's for 4.3. Okay, make sure you click this one. If you click a one one, like I said before, you have a chance of breaking your Wii, okay? Which is not my fault. All right, uh, you're gonna then double click this, so it loads up. Now I already have an MYM file, so I'm actually gonna go to my folder. All right, may, I'm a little OCD when it comes to computers, a little bit. That's the habit of being an IT. Uh, basically, make sure you have everything labeled in the certain spots because if you don't, they will get mixed up. You will get confused out of your ass. So uh, basically I have a things folder. Just make sure you have all this stuff organized. Okay, go to my things folder. I have my MM and here's one. It's uh, a dark and red uh, theme. A dark um, which is basically all black and you know red interface and everything like that. It's pretty cool. So uh, basically this is already a MYM file. What you do is you know open it up then you click create my menu. Just click it it'll handle the rest for you. I have tried downloading uh, CSM files, basically, you know, and try renaming them, it's not working. So, you know, if you find a way to work it and to get it done, then be my guest, okay? So here is making the CSM file right here in your custom menu file. What you do is you name it whatever you want, you know, you can name it, uh, you know, dark and red, uh, you can name it, you know, uh, GUR1, Whatever you want to name it, you just name it. I'm just going to name it test because I, you know, I'm saying I already have this one in here. No, I'm not. I'm going to, I'm going to name it uh, dark. Dark R. So uh, you're going to then click save. Uh, then wherever you save to that, open it up. Themes. Dark, here we go. It's right here. Dark R. Okay. Uh, this is basically made. So what you're gonna do is now you're gonna take that file and you're gonna transfer it over to your SD card. Uh, make sure you have that themes folder. You're gonna uh, make sure you have uh, what is it? My menu file on there. Um, some people, like I said, they use uh, they use soft mean because my menu might not work with some themes. And uh, so if you want to look up with soft mean, knock yourself out. Look that up too. Um, but basically, uh, after my menu files on your SD card, make sure you in your apps folder. Okay, in the apps folder, you create a themes 
uh, folder in there. Okay, so that way it's easy access. So when you open up my menu file, you can go into your themes folder and just uh, click it up and open it up. Uh, so basically, this video is to show you was to show you how to uh, get custom uh, GUIs on your Wii, not only custom GUIs on your Wii, but also to help you because I know a lot of people who downloaded this had the settings problem. Uh, so now, once you upload that, you'll be able to go into your settings, uh, change your settings as much as you like. Uh, you'll be able to go anywhere in your Wii, so now it's fine. And if you follow what I told you to do, you'll be perfectly good, okay? So, uh, like I said, the descriptions are going to be, the links are going to be in the description box. So, uh, that's that, okay? So, have fun, go crazy, download as much as you want, and just make sure you got preloader and boot me so you don't break your Wii, alright? This is uh, Polo290, and if I helped you out, uh, Comment, subscribe, and happy I could be of assistance.